Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Oh my God. Um, and I thank you. You guys have been showing me so much love. My channel would not be growing if it was not for you guys. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, we're here doing a general reading for Leo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April, second week of April, 2021. Yes, guys, I am late. Please be patient with me. I'm getting them out as, as quickly as I can, okay? I've been going through some personal things, but... I'm trying to get back on track, okay? Um, Leo, I've already saged your cards. Prayed over your cards. Laid down your overall energies, okay? Looks like you are at a crossroads here with someone that you have a very strong connection with. You don't know. For some of you guys, you, it's either you or your person. It's not completely out of something. But trying to start something new. Okay? Yeah. There could be another person here involved in this situation. Okay? So just be careful. Protect yourself. Protect your heart. Protect your heart. Because you could be dealing with somebody that's very confused, okay? Not knowing what they really, really want at this time, okay? So just protect yourself. You got soulmate here. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. And then you have between worlds. This is one foot in and one foot out. And But like I said, somebody is starting something new and has not completed something in the past, okay? So... Let's see what other information guide angels, ancestors, and the Holy Spirit have for you. What is it that Leo needs to know? Yeah, see, there's some competition around here. There's some competition going on. Someone is confused, just like I said. Somebody's not really... Somebody got options here, okay? And they're confused. There could have been some fuss and fighting and arguing, jealousy going on in the past with this person. Okay? What else you have for Leo, guys? You have the Four of Cups. And we have the Devil here. So something is toxic, y'all. Something is toxic. Somebody could have some control issues, codependency issues, addictions, alcohol, drugs. I don't know, you know, what. Y'all know your story, okay? But somebody is here is thinking about the past so tough that the universe is trying to offer you something and you're not paying attention. Or somebody's trying to offer you something and you possibly don't want it. But there is some toxicity here. What else we got here for Leo? Oh, we have the Hermits. What else, guys? We want more, okay. We have the Hermits. So somebody's going to take a step back from a situation. Because they're going to do some soul searching. They're trying to figure out some information here. And someone's trying to get closer to their spiritual side. Could be dealing with a Virgo, a Capricorn. We got your energy here, Leo, Sag, Aries. We got water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be an opportunity. There could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's possibly in your life now for... Um, could be a Virgo, because I was about to say Virgo. Um, 
um, that could be in your life right now that's very stable. But you're not really paying too much attention to this person. This could be something the universe is offering you, but you're not paying attention because you're thinking about your path. You're in between worlds. You're not sure which way to go right now because a lot of you guys are still concentrating on your soulmate here. At the bottom of the deck, we got Nine of Pentacles. Some of y'all are just going to decide to be single, period. You know, like, I can be abundant alone. I don't have to deal with all of this craziness and just move on. Some of y'all just going to move on and just not even deal with it. Let's get some clarification here for you, Leo. Why is the Five of Wands here for Leo, guys? Why is the Five of Wands here for Leo? Why is the Five of Wands here for Leo? We have the Four of Swords. So you guys have taken a break from something that has been very, very rough for you. This is like you're, you're praying, you're meditating. You're taking a break. Could be taking a break from a... Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Something that was, you know, there was a lot of fussing and fighting and arguing going on here. So you had to take a step back. Eight of Cups. You had to walk away from something that was very toxic. Something was very toxic and you had to walk away from it. Why is the Seven of Cups here? You was dealing with somebody that had a lot of options. We have the five of pentacles. Now, somebody is feeling left out in the cold. <laughs> Leo, somebody's feeling left out in the cold because you don't walked away from somebody that was confused, didn't know what they wanted. And you was like, okay, fine. I'm going to decide to be single because I know my worth. Yeah. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Three of Swords. You're concentrating on this heartbreak that you went through. And it's time to let it go. Seriously, it's time to heal and move on from it. Because in the meantime, you're going to be missing opportunities, Leo, if you don't move on. Pretty much. Okay? Why is the Three of Swords here? We know why the Three of Swords here, because somebody put you in a third party, okay? Or you put somebody else in a third party. This can go both ways, y'all. Yeah. You got the Ace of Wands here. You're wanting a new passionate beginning here. Or someone is wanting a new passionate beginning with you, Leo. Why is the Ace of Wands here? I want more information on this Ace of Wands. Or maybe you wanted a new passionate beginning with something that was very toxic. We got the Seven of Swords. This is a liar, cheater. Person did things behind your back. Could have been a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. It could be any sign that was doing you this way. Okay? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Okay. <sighs> we got 222. Two, two. That could mean something for some of you guys. We have the Page of Wands. This is somebody that's very toxic that wants to communicate here. Leo, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with, okay? This person is in between worlds, y'all. The two of wands. This person don't know what they want, but they definitely looking at you and spying on you. They don't know what they want, and they toxic. The two of cups, your soulmates. This was your overall energies. This is your overall energies, Leo. You're dealing with your soulmate that don't know what they want. They haven't left the situation, but they want to start something new and over with you, possibly. 
Or maybe they starting something new with somebody else. I don't know. And haven't really cut off cords with you. I don't know. But we damn sure got a person that's very toxic here. And it looks like it could, it's your soulmate. It's your soulmate. Maybe you're taking a step back away from this person. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Maybe you're going to take a step back and just concentrate on you and your money. That's what it kind of looks like here. Yeah, you, you go, you're about to concentrate on your stability, the four of wands. You're going to concentrate on your stability. You're about to block this person out. You're putting down boundaries here. Or Leo, this is you or your, or your, or your person. Somebody's putting down boundaries here. Because somebody don't want to keep going through the same old, same old. And you got the four of pentacles. Somebody's still holding on. Or maybe you're going to hold back from this person, Leo. But I got a feeling that you still holding on to somebody, Leo. Could be a Taurus of Virgo Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Could also be a fire sign. Because we do got the, the, four, the four of wands and the seven of wands. Are you thinking about stability with this person? And then you're like, uh, no, nah, I just need to block this person out. Because somebody is playing games here with this seven of swords. Somebody doing something behind your back that you don't know about. Yeah. Somebody's sneaking and, and going here and there. This is going to lead to heartbreak. If you continue to deal with somebody in your past, Leo, bottom line, it's going to lead to heartbreak. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Who is this Queen of Pentacles? Who is the Queen of Pentacles? Somebody here could be married too, y'all. Um, justice, yeah. Somebody could be married here. Somebody also could be considering thinking about a divorce too. Or your person... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a possibility you trying to make peace with your person or your person trying to make peace with somebody that they could be connected to in a commitment with. Somebody wants something equal and balanced and they still trying to sneak over and deal with you, Leo. Yeah, fool. Somebody, okay, y'all, somebody is taking a rest here. With is going is wanting to take a risk, or they just want to leave the oh, the person that they got a commitment with and do something and do something totally new by themselves, or your person is what is willing to make things equal and balanced with the person that they committed to or married to, and take a risk and start this all over again. So y'all better watch your back. Keep yourself covered. Keep yourself covered as far as your heart, okay? Somebody wants a second chance here with you. This is judgment. Somebody wants a second chance here. Or you're going to make a judgment on this situation and let it go, okay? It's going to be a missed opportunity. Something is going to be a missed opportunity here for somebody. With the Ten of Swords, somebody's going to, you're going to probably cut this off because you know it's some shady shit going on here. You know it is, Leo. You know it's some shady shit going on. Let's see what the hidden truth says. Let's see what the hidden truth says. What is it that Leo's person wants to let them know, guys? Let's see what the hidden truth is. What is it that Leo's person want to let them know the truth? What is the truth about Leo's person? What is the hidden truth about Leo's person? What's the hidden truth? I hid who I really am from you. So somebody is lying to you right now. You already know that though with the seven of swords. You know somebody is hiding something. What's the hidden truth about Leo's person? What is the hidden truth? I remember every detail of that day. You should know what that is because I don't. I remember every detail of that day. What's the hidden truth about Leo's person? I left when I saw you with someone else. Now, Leo, this could be you or the person. Your person could have saw you. I mean, you could have saw your person with somebody else. 
Or they could have saw you with somebody else and they just left. But that's what they saying. I hid behind material things. Give me two more cards for the hidden truth for Leo's person. I feel you leaving me behind. Mm. Let me get one more. Somebody wants to be more than friends. Mm. At the bottom of the deck, I left you before you could leave me. Huh. What? Um, let's get an outcome. What is the outcome of this situation, guys? What is the outcome of this situation for Leo? What is the outcome of this situation? For Leo. What is the outcome? And then I'll get you guys some advice from the universe. And we'll go. Then I'll let you guys know. What is the outcome of this situation for Leo and their person, guys? <sighs> trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. So whatever way you whatever way. It goes. Just trust. Each and everything happens for a reason. If you cut this person off, that's what is supposed to happen. If your person goes back to their person, that's how it's supposed to happen. And just accept it. Pretty much, okay? Give me one more card for the outcome. Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. There is somebody, your person has someone else. Or Leo, you have someone else. Get, what's the advice, guys? What is the advice? What is the advice? What's the advice for Leo? What is the advice for Leo? Okay. Ooh, we have healing at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys have to go into that healing mode and heal some things. The advice is forgiveness. Forgive yourself or another will help you move forward. And then you have time apart. This is the advice. Some distance will help you bring clarity. And then you have release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So, guys, guys, Leo, if this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.